Ahmed was trying to guess Meetha's age. She told him her age was an even number. Okay. And a multiple of three. What could Meetha's age be? Uh, she told him her age is an even yeah. number. No. No, 15 is a multiple of three, but not yeah. an even but number. But not even. Yes, so we will cross it out. 12, uh, yes, 12. 12 is correct because it's both multiple of three and an even number. Yeah. Yes. When a fair coin was tossed 10 times, it landed heads up the first seven times. What's the probability that on the eighth toss the coin will land with tails? Up. 3 over 10, 1 over 2, 7 over 10, 3 over 7. A fair coin has two sides, head and tail, that are equally likely to show when the coin is flipped. So the probability that on the eight toss the coin will land with tails up equal 1 over 2. The accompanying Venn diagram shows the results of a survey asking 100 people if they get news by reading newspaper or by watching television. What is the probability that the person selected at random from this survey does not claim television as a source of getting the news. So, 65 people claim television as the source of getting the news, and 55 people claim newspaper as the source of getting the news. So, the formula of probability of an event happening is equal to number of ways it can happen over the total number of outcomes. The probability that a person selected at random from this survey does not claim television as a source of getting the news. Close the bracket, which is equal to 15, which is outside the television circle, plus 20 over 100, which is the total number of outcomes. 15 plus 20 is 35 over 100. So the answer is 2. Sasha has a ring plate that has three gold rings and five silver rings on it. With her eyes closed, she picks the ring from the plate and then puts it back. She mixes the rings and then chooses another one at random from the plate. Calculate the probability that Sasha picks A, two gold rings, B, a gold ring in her second draw. So the first thing is, construct your tree diagram. We have three gold rings on the plate, and then we have five silver rings on the plate. The total of all rings on the plate are 8. Now for our second pick, we have the same probabilities. So we have a gold ring, which is the probability of that is 3 over 8. And then we have the probability of choosing a silver ring, which is 5 over 8. And then the same thing for the silver ring. The probability for choosing a silver ring is 5 over 8, and then the probability for choosing a gold ring is 3 over 8.
Now let's start writing all the pos uh, possible outcomes. Our first outcome will be G and G. Our second outcome will be G and S. Our third outcome will be uh, S and G. And then our last outcome will be S and S. Now for all the probabilities. Starting off with the first one, it's 3 over 8 multiplied by 3 over 8 equals to 9 over 64. Second one, 3 over 8 multiplied by 5 over 8 equals to 15 over 64. Third one is 5 over 8 multiplied by 3 over 8 equals 2 again, 15 over 64. Lastly, 5 over 8 multiplied by 5 over 8 equals to 25 over 64. You can also check to see that all the probabilities in the last column add up to 1, meaning that 9 plus 15 plus 15 plus 25 equals 64. So that will leave you with 64 over 64, which equals to 1. Now, let's say we want to find the probability of getting two golds. First, locate the G branch, then follow the second G branch. As you'll be able to see, there, there will be two outcomes where the second ring will be gold, either GG or SG. And so, from the probability tree diagram, we can see that GG is equal to 9 over 64, and then SG is equal to 15 over 64. Now add these two together. Your answer will be 24 over 64. Simplify if you can. In our case, we can. So our final, final answer is 3 over 8. Inclusive events. This means that they are not mutually exclusive, so they can happen at the same time. Uh, suppose that of 1,400 students, 550 takes mathematics, 700 takes physics, and 400 takes both mathematics and physics. Uh, what is the probability that a student selected at random takes mathematics or physics? 550 takes mathematics. So we're going to write here. Five hundred fifty over one thousand four hundred takes mathematics plus probability that they take physics, which is seven hundred over one thousand four hundred. So now I, I need to go ahead and subtract where both happens. So how many mathematics, uh, how many takes mathematics and physics? Well, 400 takes both, subtract 400 over the total, which is 1,400 takes both. So minus 400 over the total 1,400. So we go ahead and add them together. So 550 plus 700 minus 400, which will give us Eight hundred fifty over one thousand four hundred. If I reduce this fraction, I would get seventeen 
over 28. And if I divide it out, I get 0 0.0607. So this is the final answer for this question. There are 2,400 subscribers to an internet service provider. Of these 1,200 on brand A computer, 500 on brand B, and 100 on both brand A and B. What is the probability that a subscriber selected at random owns either brand A or brand B? What I need to do is I need to figure out, well, what's the probability of owning the brand A? The probability of owning brand A. plus the probability of owning a brand B, subtract the probability of those who ain't on brand A or brand B. A and B. There is 1,200 over the total, which is 2,400, plus 500 over 2400 subtract 100 over 2400 so i add 1200 plus 500 minus 100 which is equals to uh, 1600 over 2400 If I reduce this fraction, I would get 16 over 24. And if I divide it, I would get 0.6 repeated. So this is the answer of this question.